Gang, the Army, the Navy, the Unstoppable, man. Welcome back to another video with your God, Gemini, by low, man. First things first, man. When I come on the screen, man, when you click on one of my videos, just know you clicking on a regular nigga videos just like you, number one. You know what I'm saying? We all born with the same 24. We got the same 24 hours in a day, same seven days in a week. We got to keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, I love YouTube because when I put a video out into the world, I never know who it's going to find. It might find somebody that's rich, that that reached a lot of their goals, and they only got a couple more to go to succeed. You know what I'm saying? To make them feel like, you know what I'm saying? They got to be where they at to feel whole. Or it might reach somebody like me. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who is very, very far from their ultimate goals overall, but got a lot of potential, bro. Got a lot of hard work and a lot of drive and a lot of, a lot of, basically a lot of hunger. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, man, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I done been in situations where I've been homeless, sleeping on my sister's floor. I done, I done lived out of my car. I done been just at the bottom, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, trust me, ups and downs. Life got ups and downs. One thing you always got to do no matter where you at in life, even if you in your dream crib, your dream apartment, is you always got to keep yourself motivated. Because guess what? There's tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? There's the next day and the next day and the next day. And the only thing we can do is try to put a snowball effect and be putting in work today and all these, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully the work that you put in from now and years and years to come, a snowball into a lifestyle that you deserve. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm trying to do for myself. And that's what, and that's what I want all my viewers to do. You know what I'm saying? I rock with y'all like y'all rock with me. I appreciate the fact that y'all click on the videos. Y'all my guys. Y'all my people to the guys and the girls. You feel me? Because everybody needs motivation. Trust me. I need it right now, bro. I can tell. Matter of fact, let me, let me tell y'all a little bit about my lifestyle. What I got going on right now, man. For me, one of my biggest struggles, struggles in life right now is my work. Where I make my money at. You know what I'm saying? Like... Where I work, I don't enjoy my, my where, I, where I work at. I'm pretty sure a lot of people that's watching this video also don't enjoy their 9 to 5. But what do we do? We get up, we go to work every day and do our best to try to get that money because we got to pay our bills. We got to build a lifestyle for ourselves, feed our families, right? You know what I'm saying? So me personally, bro, I ain't going to lie. Man, I've been working at my job a little bit and I just feel overworked and underpaid, super overworked and underpaid. And y'all know, y'all see me on YouTube every day. Y'all know this is my passion. This is what I want to be doing with my life, you feel me? This is what I want to be doing 100%. I wish this was paying my bills, you feel me? But I know me working hard every day, putting in that grind, one day it will, you feel me? But what I'm saying is I got my struggles too, bro. I get up and I go to work some days, my nigga, and I just feel like, bro, I should just quit this shit, my nigga. Like, I should just find something else to do. I should just find a new job. But the thing is, I know if I just get up and leave my job today and go find a new job, I'm not going to be able to put as much effort, as much pain into these videos and actually come to get, come with y'all with daily reactions. Because what? I'm going to be having to get into a new routine and figure out this new, new job and change it up. Like, basically, I got to sacrifice right now. I got to sacrifice... You know what I'm saying? Going to work and getting paid what I get paid because it ain't much. You feel me? I could be making a, a lot more moving on to another company doing the same thing that I do currently. Because while I make decent money, I could be making a lot more doing something else. You feel me? However, I stick it out because I know at the end of the day, I'm comfortable here. This job right here allows me the time to myself to have my time to think and put together content for my audience. You feel me? I've been doing this for a year. I've been able to Thank God I've been able to do this for the last year. You know what I'm saying? Like, make videos, put out good content for an audience while having a full-time job. You know what I'm saying? That it pays me decent enough. I'm able to pay my bills and live a decent life. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely use more money. I'm definitely, you know what I'm saying, not, not living good. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get there. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's one of my struggles. You feel me? Another one of my struggles is, boom, like, because I got this job that's not paying me the money that I feel like I need to be paid or the money that I really do in, in reality need to be making to be able to do things for my family that I want to do. I can't say exactly what's coming up, but my family's having something, we having something coming up soon, right? And I would love to be able to just put all of the money 100%. I would love to be able to just fund the whole situation, you know what I'm saying? Be like, boom, here. I take whatever I got, boom, pay for this. But I just can't. I don't have the money on hand right now. I just don't have the money to 
take and be like, hey, take this five bands or 20 bands, five to 20 bands, whatever the case may be, and just make this some fire, a fire situation. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could. But as a man, that type of shit like that, to other people, that might not be something that matters to them, but that matters to me. You know what I'm saying? That's something that hurts me deep down that I'm, able to, I'm not able to be able to just be like, hey, let's take care of this. You know what I'm saying? Because at certain times in my life, I'm able to do that. You know what I mean? When I'm up, when I hit a good lick, or when I'm up, when I'm doing, when something come through for me in my life, my family see it. They know I'm up because I make sure, you feel me? Like people, I, I try to spread it with people. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, I don't want to get on a tangent about myself, man. This video is a motivational video. I'm just letting y'all know, man, I got my struggles too. But I do want to say, though, bro, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you having issues with, whatever it is that's bothering you, whatever it is you got going on in your life, whatever it is that's making you feel unfulfilled, bro, there's a way to twist that around, flip that shit around. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to flip that around. You know what I'm saying? It's always a way to, you know what I mean, come back from that. Like me, my way of coming back from what I feel right now it's putting in the work, seeing that my audience is growing, seeing that people noticing what I'm doing. I go outside and some of the people that I grew up with, it's like, yo, I peep the videos you're doing. Yo, I see the videos you're doing, they fire, bro. I'm rocking with you, making good content. I ain't gonna lie, I, I, yo, when I see your videos, I'm really surprised. Like, I ain't even know that you had that much to say because I never really got to know you like that. Like, you know what I mean? And I appreciate that. You feel me? What I want y'all to do, everybody out there that's watching this video, I want y'all to try to find y'all purpose and whatever it is that you like to do. Shout out to my bro Quentin. Shout out to my bro Dave. You know what I'm saying? Y'all my guys, you know what I'm saying? Y'all a main part of my motivational system that keep me going. I want to make sure I'm motivating y'all. My bro Dave, for one, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to use you as an example to anybody watching this video. Whatever it is that you do, I'm using my bro Dave as an, exa as an example. Dave, I hope you don't feel no way about me using you as an example. You know what I'm saying? I know you don't. You the bro. But look, so to anybody watching this video, we all got things that we like and we good at, right? So the main thing that you got to do, for me, my per me, I feel like my personality and my outlook on life is what I need to give to the world. That's what's going to take me to the next level is me being me and getting it to the world. You feel me? For y'all, like my bro Dave, he a chef, bro. He be chefing up, cooking all the good foods, you know what I'm saying? He chefing up, you know what I'm saying? What I would say, bro, Dave, I ain't going to lie to you. My thing is, I feel like on your off days or on your times, when you're not chefing up, when you're not... You know what I'm saying? At work, doing your thing for the company that you work for, bro. You need to come up with some recipes and come up with some dope food. You from the home of New York, bro. You out in, what, Arizona, I believe, my nigga? You need to start figuring out how you could start your own little catering business out of your crib. Like, figure out how you could make a large pot of some shit. You know what I mean? A large, a large uh, plethora of something and sell that. Get that off to people. You can start off small, bro. You can start off by bringing people um even at work your food you can start bringing your co-workers little shit that you make at the crib like yo y'all know i be chef enough y'all trust me what i make here at work let me just bring y'all little samples and stuff you know what i'm saying just let people start tasting something shit listen like i said you from new york so definitely you know mad food mad restaurant you know mad foods from different cultures because you from right here in new york you know what i'm saying you can mess around start making jamaican food out there start making oxtails jerk chicken all that type of stuff bringing it to the people who don't have a market for that out there i know arizona probably don't have no fire jamaican food out there they probably don't have no fire caribbean food i know they don't got top cheeses bro you can start making top cheeses and selling them joints bro you could dead ass make flyers my nigga put that shit up on your social media i make top cheeses you want a new york top cheese you gotta come back home though i ain't gonna lie you're gonna have to come back home to new york for a little bit and get to get the recipe right and go back out there and start busting down top cheeses nigga now you the top cheese nigga you got your day job that you're doing but you also selling top cheeses nigga and whatever else the fuck niggas want because now you start building up a clientele off of them top cheeses now niggas know you can cook they trust you they trust your cooking now they're coming back to you you feel me whatever it is you do bro whether you are you a writer you a songwriter my nigga sometimes the songwriting shit take a long a long time to get off get off you know what i mean it's a lot it take a long time to get to the music industry if you a songwriter and you know what i'm saying you feel like you really good at writing stuff man you need to go on craigslist and start looking up like the independent the independent um films that one that want that need songs and stuff for their videos and their movies they might not be able to pay you a lot but that's gonna get you some credits that's gonna build you up some credits to get you a wikipedia you know what i'm saying because then you got some credits in a movie like just shit like that bro it's little things that we all could do to get us a little bit closer and get us in the game while we doing our nine to five while we working and putting in pain and earning the money that we need to make to keep surviving because life is about survival 
most of us, we trying to keep afloat. Nigga like me, bro, I don't, I'm not just out here swimming in a bunch of money. You see me dripping in designer every day. Don't get me wrong, I do what I do because I hustle when I make my money. And sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, keep it 100. Sometimes, yeah, nigga, I break, you know what I'm saying? I do what I'm not supposed to do. I do things I'm not supposed to do when I have to. When I feel like my back against the wall, my nigga, sometimes I do that. But I would never encourage y'all to do that because I feel like I'm beyond that now, bro. I don't see my purpose, bro. I can't go do five years because I wanted to come up 20 bands. That shit not cool no more. It's not cool. It's not okay. I'm trying to keep myself in the mind frame of stop hand licks. Don't just be going out doing shit to go do it because you need some bread and you want to be up 40 bands. You want to be up 20 bands right now. So you're going to do this. But nigga, I could be, if, if I fuck up my freedom, my nigga, I could, I, who knows, nigga, I could be five videos away, 20 videos away from being at 10K, you know what I mean? Being at this and making a certain amount of money and be decent, you know what I mean? But if I go fuck that up, nigga, I'll be sitting up for the next three to five, you know what I'm saying? And can't move around, can't do what I want to do, and nigga, y'all niggas will never know about me again. I'll just be a nigga that's locked up behind a wall because I want to fuck up and I'm not being patient and I'm not just letting my plans work out the way they need to. Life is about patience and perspective. You can't be letting your perspective be a negative one because if your perspective is a negative one, keep it 100, man. Let, think about this. The homeless people in the street that got stains all over their shirt, stuff all over their face, their perspective is my life is bad and it's never going to get no better, so I might as well settle with this. You can't be that. You can't be in the mind frame of my life is like this and it's never going to get no better because you can end up like them people that's on the street, them homeless folks that you see that just gave up on life. Like, shout out to them because like I said, I've been homeless before. My nigga, I had to work my way out of that. You feel me? Luckily, I had a car to sleep in and I had somebody flow to sleep in when I needed to. You feel me? But I had to work my way out of that. But unfortunately, I did have to do a little negative things to get my way up and do my thing to get right. You feel me? It happens like that. That's just my lifestyle, though. I come from the hood, Patterson Projects. My nigga, I ain't have much. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had no pops. I ain't never really had no real guidance. But I always had a mother who wanted the best for me and made sure I had a meal, a hot meal to, to eat as long as I was in her crib. More or less, me being homeless was my fault. I didn't want to live out of state. I wanted to be here in New York City. And they say, if you in New York City, my nigga, if you could make it in New York City, you could make it anywhere. And guess what, nigga? I made it back to, you know what I'm saying, being able to have a bed to sleep in, you know what I'm saying, a roof over my head. And now I'm I'm, I'm here with a YouTube set up, able to talk to y'all and tell y'all about my shortcomings and what I had to go through in life to get here to have this strong mind frame. Because I ain't gonna lie, I didn't always have this strong mind frame. Well, let me, I did always have a strong mind frame because even when I was committing crimes, I had a strong mind frame about it. I thought I had a, a method to my madness, you feel me? And I was smart about my shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of it. That's why I ain't never had to go up and do no crazy time like a lot of people. God forbid them, I don't want to say never, but you know what I mean? I, ain't, I didn't have to go up and serve a lot of time like a lot of my homies, a lot of my niggas around me, you feel me? But Jimmy Gang, man, I hope that was a motivational video, man. And I hope I left y'all with some motivation, bro. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do it. You can do it, bro. You capable. You capable. You Whoever is around you and don't believe in what you want to do, if you got a plan, bro, and it's you know that it's a solid plan, and you go out there and you tell somebody a plan and they don't agree with you, but they feel like, man, fuck your plan, bro. That shit ain't never going to work, man. Fuck them. I don't care if it's your mother, your brother, your father, your homie, your best friend, niggas you don't grew up with forever. If niggas don't believe in you, nigga, kick them niggas to the dust. Because guess what? Whether or not they around you, you're going to put in the work to get it done. You're going to do what you got to do to get everything done that you got to do to get to the ultimate goal. And guess what? When you get to the goal, you can, you can still look out for them niggas. You can hit them niggas up. What's up? Uh, we can link now every once in a while when I got some free time. But don't get it fucked up, nigga. Don't, just remember, you didn't believe in me at this point. You know what I'm saying? Just like me, nigga, you think everybody around me believe in what I'm doing and believe in my goals? Don't get me wrong. A lot of people do. But for sure, for sure, in the very beginning of this, nigga, the first 10 videos, the first 20 videos, the first 100 videos, nigga, a lot of people didn't believe in this shit that I'm doing, you feel me? But a lot of people is listening to the content, they actually feel it. And they ain't like, you know what? Even if he ain't getting a lot of views, this nigga making some real shit. I know he going places. So you got to make people believe it, bro. And I feel that. Like you got to fight for people to believe your shit. Guess why? Guess why the nigga RX Poppy is one of my favorite artists? The nigga put out music consistently every day. He in your face every day with music. He in your face every day dropping some shit. That shit made me be like, yo, I believe in this nigga. I know he going to make it, bro. And with, with, with work ethic like that, you can't lose. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You, you really become attached to people when you fuck with, they struggle, they work ethic, and you can see, like, how they leveling up. You feel me? Like, and I, that's what made me fuck with him. And I know that me putting in these daily videos and working hard and really grinding it out for y'all... What's going to get me, me to my ultimate success You know what I'm saying You got to make people believe in you You can't just come in this shit Thinking that everybody going to believe in you Because you say you're going to do something Everybody think they're going to do something But let's see who really going to do it You feel me So that, that, with that man 
Get on your job, man. Do whatever it is you need to do to get grinding, man. If it's YouTube, if it's being a, mu a, a, a music uh, nigga, if you want to be a rapper, like, bro, I used to rap. But I tell you what, I'm a better YouTuber than I am a rapper because I'm putting out daily content. I'm engaging with y'all every single day with these videos. When I was a rapper, nigga, I was putting out a video every couple months. Nigga, I wasn't taking it too serious, even though I love to rap. And don't get me wrong, I still make music every now and then. I do features with the homies. You know what I'm saying? I probably put out a song. But I just don't take it as serious as I take this YouTube shit because I've grown to love this shit and I realize it's my passion. Me being able to talk to niggas and actually communicate with people, making them feel on a different level. Not this fake shit. You got a lot of YouTube that's real, but you got a lot of YouTube that's a lot of fake and funny shit. And I'm one of them real niggas. So whether it's whether I get two views or 2,000 views, I'm just happy that niggas is here to watch it and feel this message. You feel me, Jimmy Gang? I'm gone. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Y'all my hearts. Y'all my hearts. I'm gone.